with TCH Industries, here to talk to you today about hydrostatic testing. What is hydrostatic testing? It's a water pressure test for any pressure vessel to confirm strength and demonstrate the absence of leaks. A pressure vessel is anything like pipes, manifolds, hoses, cylinders, and anything else that can hold pressure. Water is an incompressible substance and inherently creates a safer test environment, which is different from pneumatic testing, which uses a compressible gas. Compressible gases are dangerous because they can expand rapidly in the event of a failure, and this is otherwise known as an explosion. It confirms that the assembly is constructed properly and operates properly up to the tested pressure which in our industry for hoses is typically one and a half times working pressure, and we call this a proof test. Hydrostatic tests are usually used in conjunction with visual inspection for certification of an assembly or recertification of assemblies in the field. The equipment required for hydrostatic testing is a test tank, something like this, it comes with a pump, water source, gauges, caps and plugs, and valves in order to release pressure. Whenever we pressure test an assembly, we're putting great stress on the components in the assembly, and so we test inside of a test tank like this, because if the test fails and the assembly fails, that's bulletproof glass and it's not gonna blow through that. The procedure for hydrostatic testing we cap the ends, then we have to prime the hose, and that essentially means that we're allowing the air to float to the top, and then we burp the air out of the assembly so that only water is inside the assembly. We pressurize it to oftentimes 1.5, or really anything a customer specifies, and, and then we test the assembly for the duration that a customer specifies. Typically, it's anywhere between one to five minutes. It's important to test the assembly under the conditions that it will see in the field. This is an apparatus that we built to test hoses at temperature. So we're able to raise the temperature of the hose, let it sit for a predetermined amount of time so that we know that not only the hose itself, but the process media inside, in this case, water for the test, it's going to be water. Everything is at temperature, and then we can raise the pressure and see how, see how the assembly performs at temperature. The signs of failure, in other words, what we're looking for when we look through the glass is weeping, which would be indicated by any drips that are forming in the assembly. Uh, in the case of hoses, sometimes there can be an excessive elongation of the hose. Hose barb retention, in other words, if the barb starts to slide out of the assembly, that is, uh, that's a failure. If there's bubbling in the cover, that means that the water is actually leaking through the various layers of the hose and then being kind of uh, held in place by, by the cover. And you'll see that in the form of a bubble. Um, or obviously when the hose bursts, that's an obvious indication of failure. Once we determine that the hose is holding pressure properly, we just simply have to release the pressure, which just hit the button. Hydrostatic testing is important because it certifies the condition of the assembly on a particular date to a customer's specification. The test confirms that the assembly exceeds a minimum standard, that the assembly is constructed properly, and that it operates properly. Essentially, it's giving everyone peace of mind that the hose is going to be safe. So remember, every hose, every order, every line, every time 